Hi everyone, it is April 20, 2018. You don't have to send me this link anymore to this article. I did get several emails from subscribers sending it along. Government accidentally sends file on remote mind control methods to journalists. The journalist was Curtis Waltham. Uh, he filed a Freedom of Information Act request with the Washington State Fusion Center and all fusion centers are partnered with the Department of Homeland Security. He wanted to obtain information about Antifa, white supremacist groups, and the FOIA response included, he says act accidentally, they included a mysterious file on psychoelectric weapons with the label EM effects on human body. The file included methods of remote mind control. Now, I want to point out what this person who wrote this article pointed out, uh, Muckrock also pointed out, a nonprofit, Muckrock is a nonprofit that publishes government information gathered through FOIA requests. They saw what I saw, which is at the bottom of these diagrams here you have raven1.net this to me looks like something that was produced by somebody doing research on targeted individuals or a targeted individual themselves I will say and I'm going to read all of the sensations that can be produced remotely via frequencies coming out of Gwen Towers or cell towers even through our computer screens, TVs, cell phones. All of what you are reading here on this diagram is true. I don't think it's a authentic government document. But I'm not saying that Curtis Waltman is lying. So why would somebody accidentally stick in psychoelectric weapon information and information like this diagram, perhaps to create a storm on social media, get all those conspiracy theorists writing about it and posting videos on it. Um, I don't know. You know, I have received a lot of comments from people over the entirety of my time on YouTube saying everything that we're seeing is biblical and Lately, I have been seeing a lot of comments where people are writing, the Bible said, everything will be revealed. All right. Um, when I can't understand anything and I search for answers and can't find them, I can speculate all day long about what's going on, but I can't say anything definitively. It's, it's speculation. Everything will be revealed. That's what the Bible tells us. You know, we have an awful lot of psychopaths, pathological psychopaths, malignant narcissists, crazy nut jobs who, well, if they're human beings, they're just not like you and I. They have no conscience and they have no limits to the evil that they can commit. And then we have an awful lot of secondary psychopaths and, and narcissists who will do anything for money. And unfortunately, I believe that that is the majority of the population. So let's say uh, whoever was putting together this uh, FOIA request, they thought it would be funny. Let me stick this in even though it's true. But let me stick it in and see if anybody recognizes that it's not a government document out of the Department of Homeland Security. Raven1.net. I'll make them look like fools. Or they are revealing an awful lot because they want it to align with the Bible it may very well be that they are using the Bible as their template to 
transform the world, to get an awful lot of Christians to believe that all of this is prophesied and, well, Jesus is returning, we are now living the end times, and God is going to restore goodness, and therefore, because it has been written, I want to point out that it was written by man, but because it was written, therefore, it's true, it's coming true, I'm living it now, I'm seeing it, and I don't have to do anything, because all well, Jesus or God is coming back, and I can just sit back and do nothing. I don't know. But I will say this. No one has the answer to that. Okay. Uh, we do have an awful lot of evil being committed. Now, I'm going to go through a lot of information, and I'm going to try to do it as quickly as possible. But I want to read what they can do with these frequencies. And it is absolutely true. And I have to preface this by just saying that my heart goes out to every targeted individual who has to deal with life as a nightmare. Now, I read a comment today. Somebody said, everybody's targeted. Yeah, we are. But some are targeted in ways that has created for them a life that is so unbearable. And many do kill themselves. We are all targeted in terms of the depopulation agenda. And I do think that they have different ways of targeting people. So for those who have claimed that I'm targeted, that is, I can speculate all day long about that too. I've had very bizarre experiences that, yes, I have questioned whether or not I am, but I, I don't fall into the category of the typically uh, targeted individual, what they typically experience. The stalking, people following them, people breaking into their home and messing things around. But I will tell you, I do know that they have the technology to, and I'm going to be getting into it, to create thoughts in people's minds, induce behaviors, that that individual would not ordinarily have thought or behaved in such a way. And they don't even realize it. And I have to tell you, my experiences with an awful lot of human beings have been so strange and destructive. You know, they're not using these frequencies to enhance life. They're using these frequencies to destroy life. They can destroy relationships by inducing thoughts and behaviors in people. But before we get into that, what can someone experience by someone else remotely controlling their physicality, emotionality, their thoughts. They can have forced memory blanking and induced erroneous actions. How many of you have experienced that? Induced changes to hearing both apparent direction and volume and sometimes even content. Sudden violent itching inside eyelids. Forced manipulation of airways including externally controlled forced speech. When you think about all of the people who are either killing somebody and claiming God told me to do it, there are so many people out there with the diagnosis of schizophrenia. And it has been induced because of these sick psychopaths. Don't go. If you are hearing voices, do not go to a psychiatrist. Do not go to the police if people are coming into your home and messing things around or people are following you because that can make your life circumstance even worse. Because this, this kind of uh, 
Look, we have a population, no one bothers to do any research. So when you're trying to tell people what you are experiencing and they don't have any basis of knowledge for what you are saying, they just immediately think that you're crazy. Wild racing heart without cause. Remotely induced violent no rash, no rash itching with preference for hard to reach areas, often during delicate or messy work, forced nudging of arm during delicate or messy work, causing injury or spills, special attention to genital area, itching, forced organa oh, orgasm, intense pain. I have heard from an awful lot of targeted individuals and they have experienced this and I have done enough research to believe what they are saying but I've also experienced enough symptoms myself not that one and not you know other though I look every individual is unique I've grown up um, going attending AA meetings I cannot tell you how many people have said you're not unique to either me or other people and every every human being is unique they have unique DNA they have unique life experiences they have a unique uh, physiology they have a unique emotionality they have a unique brain. Everyone is unique. So I believe that that whole, oh, you're not unique, is just another way of saying, shut up, I don't want to hear it. Um, so everyone, even the targeted individuals, they have common symptoms of or common sensations, but each one differs. And the, the life that they, from hearing from many, I try to imagine living what they live, and it's, it's hard to imagine. But the reason why I brought up that unique stuff was everybody has their own pain threshold. So uh, you know, just prior to saying that, I was thinking, Oh, I've experienced extreme pain, but I also know that I have a high pain threshold. There are other people with lower pain thresholds. So what I experience pretty much on a daily basis, the pain, that could be really bad for somebody else. And for me, it's tolerable. So it's very hard to, you know, say, whether or not somebody's targeted in terms of the pain that they experience. I have experienced the sudden onset of extreme pain where I am doubled over, but the sudden onset and then I experience it for a few minutes and it's a sudden offset. I realize that I just got hit by a microwave. Yeah. These microwaves are coming every which way at us 24-7 now. So, but that extreme pain has, it's not a daily experience. And targeted individuals do experience it daily. And someone has to be really crazy, so sick and twisted to get involved in these intelligence agency programs to do this to an individual, destroying their life because of what they can do with these frequencies. Um, so, intense general pain or hot needles push deep into flesh sensations. Wild flailing, sometimes followed by short periods of rigor mortis. Hard to reach itch, sight, top and bottom never 
any rash, which often starts as the sensation of small electrical shocks. Neuro control by bending each toe backwards almost 90 degrees, one at a time, over a couple of minutes. Um, they can read and broadcast your thoughts, control your dreams, um, forced waking visions, some synced with body motion, microwave hearing, transparent eyelids, artificial tinnitus, forced movement of jaw and clacking of teeth, forced muscle quaking of the large muscles on the back, forced precision manipulation of hands, sometimes synced to the forced waking visions. And the general effects, sudden overheating, I'm sure a lot of you can identify with that, all body pain, forced caffeine field sleep prevention. Well, that sleep prevention, uh, I am not joking. I understand why sleep deprivation is used as torture. That, that forcing awake. You know, you're exhausted, you think you're going to go to sleep, you close your eyes and you're kind of right there, but then boom, you're jolted awake. And it can happen multiple times a night. That is what I have been experiencing literally every single night for many years. And um, the the experience that I also have when I'm jolted awake is a fear sensation in my gut and it's a horrible feeling. So I do wonder, all right, well I have a lot to uh, be fearful about but I'm not generally a fearful person so who knows maybe it's my subconscious doing that to me or it's induced by microwaves because they can. They know the frequencies, the specific frequencies to induce um, emotions, specific emotions, fear, anger, um, suicidal ideation. They even know frequencies that can induce cancer and all kinds of illnesses and syndromes and they the frequencies that we are saturated in can keep alive Lyme disease the bacteria that we have so they have frequent they have a frequency that can create riotous behavior anyway force drop in your track sleep inducement I've heard from a lot of you who have said I can't stay awake I'm now sleeping hours during the day. Irresistible go here, go there commands. The voice in voice to skull technology. Many hear voices. You're not crazy or schizophrenic. This is the technology that they have and are using it, are using it against people. And no, you don't have to be um, a whistleblower. You don't have to be someone who is the leader of the pack, you know, on, you know, what an activist fighting the agendas that are taking place. You can just be an ordinary Joe or Jane and have this happen to you. Microwave burns, I've had that. Electric shocks, involuntary test subjects are also experience frequent break and enters at home, at work, with clothing and furniture, business papers, computer files, sabotage, modified, or stolen psychological warfare. That's what it is all about. And an individual or a group can be remotely mind controlled. So, in this, uh, on this uh, diagram, it mentions Lowry silent sound. So I researched Lowry. Here's his patent. Silent subliminal presentation system. Silent communication system using frequencies propagated acoustically or vibrationally for inducement into the brain. 
Oh, and how can they do that? They can do it with loudspeakers, earphones, or piezoelectric transducers. So I'm going to get into the piezoelectric transducers in one second, but these modulated carriers may be transmitted directly in real time or may be conveniently recorded or stored or on mechanical, magnetic, or optical media for delayed or repeated transmission to the listener. Kill, 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 kill. We have an awful lot of people who became shooters and then they shot themselves. I do not understand how it is that I am getting these notifications and it really is pissing me off. I cannot locate the source to get them off, but I have notifications. Oh, three lovely Asian girls. Uh, oh, God, I am so sick of this world. Um, all right, so here's another patent. Apparatus for producing visual and auditory stimulation. What is this? An apparatus for producing visual and auditory stimulation at levels of awareness below that ability of an observer to report the stimulus verb verbally. They can impart useful information to an observer by subconscious stimulation and subsequently resulting in conscious purposeful behavior of said observer without his awareness of the basis for such behavior. Wow! So, when I think about all of those really bizarre, strange, and unfortunately destructive experiences that I've had with friends, not my not understanding their behavior. They acting in ways that any adult would understand that it was a behavior that really is not good and when pointed out they don't care. I I have to wonder. So this uh, production is below his conscious recognition level without said observer being consciously aware of any change in his environmental or physical status to impart information to said observer at said subconscious recognition level and said observer subsequently utilizes the information at the conscious recognition level. Think of all of those people. The Antifa, right? White people screaming at white people, you're a racist. No n debate is gone. Um, adult conversation, rational conversation gone. Think about what we saw when Trump was elected or even the lead up to the election. What the hell was going on? It, it was like mass breakdown. People acting in ways that we didn't see years ago. Could they have been brought to those kinds of behaviors? Externally, by the remote control of frequencies. I don't know. They could have. So, this, uh, you can, I'm going to link below to everything. You can read all about this patent uh, if you want to learn how they actually do it. Um, I think I highlighted something else here. Maybe it was another patent that I'm going to go to in one second right here. Okay. Apparatus for inducing frequency reduction in brainwave. The human brain wave produced when the five sensory organs organs are in action is called uh, beta rhythm, a brain wave of 15 hertz or higher, which is reduced to the alpha rhythm to 7 or 14 hertz by mental relaxation. Yes, an individual or a group or a whole region of people, they can put to sleep. No joke. And this, um, did I, 
Yes, I did this. Okay, well, <laughs> memory gone. Nano pressure sensor. MIT, California, Berkeley, uh, Berkeley, University of California. They have produced nano sized sensors and they are piezoelectric materials. Nanotechnology, piezoelectric materials, sensors, smart dust. Smart dust aims to monitor everything. This was uh, posted on CNN 2010. In the 90s, a researcher named Chris Peitzer or Peace Pister, I don't know, dreamed up a wild future in which people would sprinkle the earth with countless, countless tiny sensors, no larger than grains of rice. Oh, now they have them no larger than dust size. Wow. Smart dust particles, as he called them, would monitor everything, acting like electronic nerve endings from for the planet, fitted with computing power, sensing equipment, wireless radios, and long battery life. The smart dust would make observations and relay mountains of real-time data about people, cities, and the natural environment. Now, a version of this smart dust fantasy this guy had starting to become reality in 2010. It's now 2018. Let's read what our uh, Department of Agriculture was doing in 2005. Precision agriculture nanotech methods used such as smart dust, smart fields, and nano sensors. Wow. All right. Well, clearly they had this technology a long time ago. Smart fields laced with wireless nano sensors. The U.S. Department of Agriculture dubbed these nano sensors little brother technology. Big brother? Little brother because it's nanotechnology. Isn't that great? Intel, Microsoft Intel, also employs social scientists who study behavior of vineyard workers, vineyard workers, to help design the system. Intel's vision for wireless, wireless networks is proactive computing ubiquitous systems that anticipate the needs of the farmer and act before they are asked to do so. Artificial intelligence. Thousands of tiny sensors scattered like invisible eyes, ears, and noses across farm fields and battlefields. Sounds like science fiction, but 10 years ago, this guy Pitster, Peister, a professor of robotics at University of California, Berkeley, secured funding from, yeah, DARPA. U.S. Defense Ad Advanced Research Projects Agency. DARPA gave this guy funding to develop autonomous sensors that would each be the size of a match head. Wow. Well, this is 2005. And Pitster, whatever his name was, was already researching it in the 90s. It's now 2018. And Berkeley and MIT have come out with smart dust. Nano-sized sensors, which are invisible to the naked eye. Oh, are they the size of a strand of hair or smaller? They're either the size or smaller. I can't remember. Um, so these moats, which are the nanosensors, referred to as moats, individual moats would self-organize into ad hoc computer networks capable of rel relaying data using wireless technology. They can detect and communicate with other moats. We're talking artificial intelligence and think about 5G, the fast, fast rollout. Hey, Trump, he made that 5G a national security priority. Get it out there. Because the millimeter wave, the 5G millimeter wave, is so fast, it can collect 
real-time data. And where are they going to store all of this? Well, they have those um, huge, I don't know, are they quantum computing centers? The one in Utah, and I can't remember the name, but they have the cloud. The cloud. Department of Homeland Security, the Pentagon, uh, I'm sure every federal agency has contracts with Microsoft, with Google, with Amazon. And those companies provide the cloud. That cloud, you input data into the internet, and in real time, they take it out and put it into the cloud. You can't delete anything. So when you are seeing, oh, software that can keep all of your information uh, private or ways to delete your uh, Facebook writings or whatever, um, it's already, it's in the cloud. It's, it's, they, they, they get it, they store it, they have it. And the cloud apparently has infinite space available for the Pentagon, for the Department of Homeland Security. And any time that they want to pull up information about a particular individual, bada boom, they've got it. So, um, DARPA, yeah, they had great interest in this project, deploying smart dust networks over enemy terrain to feed back real-time news about troop movements, chemical weapons, battlefield conditions without risking soldiers' lives? Well, they've had this technology, and yet they're risking soldiers' lives. Interesting, isn't it? So, DARPA, the um, creator of the Internet, yeah, the Internet, DARPA created this, and this is the mechanism in which they collect all the information about not just Americans, but all people all over the world. Yeah, these people are absolutely crazy nut jobs who want to reshape the world for their own purposes. And whoever is left, you know, if it's that Guidestone, Georgia Guidestone number 500 million, those 500 million will be controlled 24-7 every aspect of their life with this technology. Isn't it great? Um, yes, so DARPA, it, they swiftly became aware that it could be used for tiny surveillance systems, which would have endless civilian uses. And it's not just for monitoring energy use in office buildings or tracking goods through a supply chain. It's also to keep control over everyone, everywhere they go. Do you think our clothes don't have sensors in them? Well, if you have very old clothes, which I do, um, they, they might not. The clothes that we're buying today, they have those, that nanotechnology in it, the nanosensors. The products that you buy in supermarkets, everything has sensors. Hewlett Packard began dropping billions of nano sensors all over the planet years ago. So, yeah, what they wanted was ubiquitous wireless sensors embedded in everything. The landscape, rivers, lakes, roads, bridges, clothing, human beings. It's the Internet of Things. The 5G millimeter wave will give them the power, the speed to collect all of that data on everyone. And then they store it in the cloud. Ambient intelligence, smart environments that use sensors and artificial intelligence to predict, predict the needs of individuals and respond accordingly. It can sense an imminent crash before you crash your car and it can um, tell your uh, airbag to release 
So the following speculations um, that they had in 20, uh, 2005 for five years time, speck of dust on each of your fingernails will continuously transmit fingertip motion to your computer or infants would not die of SIDS or suffocate or drown because the sensors will alert the parents. So if a child is in your neighbor's pool drowning, a sensor will be able to tell who's home, who's not, and will call the person who's home, and you can run over and it will be life-saving for Johnny who's drowning. 2020, there will be no unanticipated illnesses because these sensors inside us will be able to de determine if we are going to get the flu or early warning signs about cancer. Now, listen, this, this technology, it could have been used for good but unfortunately, it is being used for evil. Nanochips and smart dust, the dangerous new face of the human microchipping agenda. Nanochips and smart dust are the new technological means for the advancement of the human microchipping agenda. Due to their incredibly tiny size, both nanochips and smart dust have the capacity to infiltrate the human body, become lodged within, and begin to set up a synthetic network on the inside which can be remotely controlled from the outside. All of us can be remotely controlled. Goodbye, will. You know, will power. Goodbye, will. Goodbye, making your own decisions. Uh, and I'll pause you for a second. Well, now that I got off the phone, I can't remember what I was saying, but yes, um, this uh, nano, these nanobots, the nano sensors, human microchipping is what it is. Due to their incredibly tiny size, both nanochips and smart dust have the capacity to infiltrate the human body, become lodged within, and begin to set up a synthetic network on the inside, which can be remotely controlled from the outside. I just read that twice, I believe. Sorry. But just want to point out, those who are screaming, don't take the mark of the beast, we probably have that beast inside us already. Smart thing. We, we breathe dust all the time. Could we be breathing smart dust? Yes. Yes, we could. Um, I will link below to this site the uses of nanosensors from smart dust to nano motherships. Uh, this is a book and the hyperlinks are the numbers. You can click on them. But here, silicone nanostructures mimic the beetle shell. Wow. But here, motherships for nanotherapies, color changes when particle releases drug. They have payloads in them. You breathe it in. And they can use a frequency to get that payload to release something toxic within your own body. No joke. So I clicked on this one, came up with a picture, and this is an eyeball with a nano sensor. And it lights up when the payload is releasing. So, yes, the nanotechnology is the Internet of Things. You just dump the Earth with nanosensors. No joke. And anybody who's rolling their eyes, thinking I'm crazy, oh, I'm off my meds, you're just someone who is not informed. You didn't do the research. So, do the research. This is why they want 5G. No, they don't want to make you really happy with your high-speed downloading ability. They want to control every aspect of your life. And 5G will give them that ability. The millimeter wave, really fast, gathers up real time data. This is 
This is truly a remarkable world we're living in. 2013, more than 30 billion devices will wirelessly connect to the Internet of Everything in 2020. Well, it was then the Internet of Everything. Now it's the Internet of Things. The year 2013 is seen by many as the year of the Internet of Everything, but it will still be many years until it reaches its full potential. The next five years. Oh, well, guess what? It's five years. The next five years will be pivotal, pivotable, pivotal. Wow, pivotal in its growth and establishment as a tangible concept to the consumer. Bluetooth, Wi-Fi, Zigbee, cellular, and that RFID chip, smart dust, and many other wireless technologies are all important to drive the Internet of Everything growth. This site is uh, very educational and they have this video which I will play. I, my editing program, I don't know what the hell happened, but I downloaded these videos because I wanted to put in a clean version of the videos, but I can't. So, this is what you get. Here you go. Nanobots. Really, really tiny, tiny. And you know what they do? They encapsulate your neurons or synapses or other nerve endings or they bridge nerves and they hold on you're the host your body is the host You like it? Artificial control of your body. The basic idea consists of a set of nano wires tethered to electronics in the main catheter such that they will spread out in a bouquet arrangement into a particular portion of the brain's vascular system. Such arrangement could support a very large number of probes in the millions. Each nanowire would be used to record very securely electrical activity of a single or small group of neurons without invading the brain. What is the purpose of chemtrails? Now, because my video is getting too long, I am going to link below to um, a Plain Truths video on he goes through this site so you can learn more about this site and the purpose of chemtrails by watching this video which I will link to below artificial intelligence self-replicating nanobots inside us all targeting humanity nano foods I posted a video on nano technology in our food they're in cooking oils teas health supplements and diet products in nutritional additives for soft drinks, dairy and bakery products, food processing aids, long life packaging, antibacterial kitchenware, fertilizers, pesticides, agrochemicals. You know what? I am getting so done with these notifications. I, if anybody knows how to get rid of these, please let me know. I don't know what the source is, and I am sick of getting pornographic or a stunning Asian woman seeking single men in Piedmont, I guess South Carolina. Jesus. Anyway, listen to just a few minutes of A Plain Truth. So as you can see here, these are called buckyballs. These are the formations of this nanotechnology, Buckmaster Fuller, who was a good guy, but now they've taken his technology for something you're going to be using for truly evil, and that's the uh, control and uh, making a pet of humanity or eliminate us all together. So this is a site called Data Asylum. I want to get into this. So let's get into it now. 
a video with McDonald's hamburgers containing nano material, um, small micro nanotechnology fibers, and most people have no clue what nanotechnology is. And is. So I want to bring your attention to this website called dataasylum.com. And it's an excellent, excellent website to be bone up on what's going down in the nanotechnology world. Uh, this person's a targeted individual, and so he's speaking from experience. The greatest obstacle discovery is not the ignorance, it's the illusion of knowledge. Daniel Borston. Very true words. All right, so this preface is what the hell is happening. You must be thinking that as well as being dazed and confused on the purpose of this website. Fear not, my less, less informed friends. Uh, whether you're being chemtrailed, body mind controlled, hearing voices, or stalked by the public, this website connects the final high level dots concerning the otherwise complicated puzzle of insanity currently before you. Logic and proportion have fallen sloppily dead, and the white knight is talking backwards. This is what they are doing to you and your family, and this is how they do it. Complete high dexterity remote control of every single synapse and neuron for every person on the face of the earth and the greatest revelation in human history, your bio-APA. APA stands for Application Processing Interface, all right? So I encourage you to go through this website, Data Asylum. Um, and here's the summary page. In 1999, the world changed. The money trust law, commercial contract law, etc. Technology, nanotech, and the general direction of the planet completely changed. All right, I'm going to uh, link below, and you can watch this, but I want you to hear about the chemtrails. Each N-wire would be used, nanowire, would be used to record atmosphere and create earthquakes, and that's the harp stuff, oh, um, health erosion, you. death control, and Sorry. other things. But um, here he says the purpose of chemtrails is larger than the, the chemtrails are a huge logistical operation. Um now he says into blocking the sun, solar radiation management, but that's not what it's about. Superheating the atmosphere to create earthquakes, well, that's the harp stuff. Um, health erosion, definitely. Climate modification to hurt crops, that's definitely. But here, nanofiber propagation. To universally install a bio-application processing interface in everyone, they would need to spray nanofibers. That was in the McDonald's uh, burger in the other video doc I'll put in the show notes. These fibers cannot be put into the food supply or given in some other way. The uptake across the population would take forever and not propagate very effectively. It's much easier just to spray everyone like an insect. And because it's happening to everyone, the universal herd mentality of the unwashed masses then justifies it. Nanofibers specifically are a transport mechanism, nothing more. They hold a payload for delivery, a payload that otherwise would be compromised by the sun or atmosphere and not make its destination into your body. Such a viral RNA code, metals such as aluminum, nanocomponents, etc. These fibers surprisingly are quite harmless as everyone has them. Examples of these fibers can be found all over the internet or in the physical examples section of this site. So the why we'll leave alone, but the bio phase is here. Um, there are essentially two phases involved in the installation of bioAP. He, he categorizes uh, one and two. I want to show you this flow chart summary. It's easier to put the whole operation into a flow chart for a quick overview. Below shows the core purposes of chemtrails. Uh, and so you see a, a targeted individual is someone who being wirelessly attacked uh, from um, computers and, and these machines. And there's a lot of Google targeted individual if you want to get into it or watch my um, three-hour video on it. Chemtrails, nanofibers, and then the bioAP that goes into our bodies. We have phase one excuse me, phase two, phase X, and these are all monitored. This is why the supercomputers in Salt Lake City and others collecting mass amounts of data at us. The program, more information, and then the judgment. We want them to live, die, get sick, whatever. All right? Uh, and so what is the summary is the biophases, and these biophases could be triggered. Let me get into this other part. And I encourage you to go through this, this whole website because it's, it's just excellent, and you'll be amazed how much you didn't know about everything. See, nano cells are real small. A thousand times smaller than these dust particulates. You inhale it, they go to work replicating, spreading like a virus, multiplying in exponentials. Six months time, I could have a hundred million people 
converted. They put figures, porn stars, and presidents. Not one would be the wiser. A hundred million people will buy what I want them to buy and do pretty much damn well anything I figure they ought to do. The BioAP is extremely powerful and provides complete control over every man, woman, and child on the planet. I understand it's difficult to accept. I'm simply telling you the way it is. And here you can see the communication between the different synapses in this model here. The following table attempts to outline what is possible with BioAP depending on what phase you have. The primary difference between phase one and phase two is phase one targets your mind, hearing, and basic sight only, where phase two encompasses your entire body. Both phases also, both phases also provide the ability to have your memory suspended or manipulated, allowing for very interesting events to occur. Can you say zombie? Okay, so... Uh... I do encourage everybody to watch this uh, video in full. I will also link below to a Plain Truths video, which is really very good. I watched it. It is, um, oh, I'm sorry. This is not the three-hour presentation. I'll link below to that three-hour presentation that he did, going through so much information documented uh, the evidence that targeting is happening. Touchless techno target uh, torture. Target humanity? Does anyone care? A whole lot of people don't care. And a whole lot of people who are awake don't care. And I have to wonder, have, have they just had their humanity taken out of them? Or did they not have it? But um, I hope no, none of my subscribers ever judge or, or just come out and comment to a targeted individual that they're crazy or nuts or whatever, because this is really happening. So this is a 24-minute video. Um, all of this is really happening, and it's... It's heartbreaking. Can we get this stopped? No. Because I do think that they have control over the masses already. I do. Because I've never seen such a breakdown in morality, maturity, common sense, uh, critical thinking, just ordinary communication, trying to resolve something with somebody, it, it's impossible today. So, something is happening. And do they care? You know, when people leave the comments, everything will be revealed. It was, it was, it's in the Bible. Carol, don't you understand? They can reveal everything now, and it won't matter. Oh, Christians will believe that this is God at work. No, this is evil at work. This is man who is incredibly psychopathic. Sorry, I was just interrupted by a neighbor, and I can't remember what I was saying. So, um, the masses are controlled. It doesn't matter. I mean, look at what Trump is doing. Look at what is happening to our country. And you see people, the majority, majority of Americans not even caring. The Constitution's dead. Uh, even, and it's not, it's not just the millennials. I hate it when I see uh, older people claiming that it's the millennials. Look at us baby boomers. Jesus. But when you look at the behavior, certainly the behavior in videos, so many videos about Antifa and all these people who are much older and they demonstrating they are incapable of having rational adult conversation. They just scream insults. And then when you look at those who are older and they're talking about how socialism would be really good. We were the freest country in the world. 
we had so many opportunities that no one else ever had. And now you have these people who had those opportunities talking like, hey, yeah, socialism, communism, it's a good thing. Something's very wrong with our society. Something is very, very wrong with the people in this society. So all links will be below. And I hope that you all have a really good weekend. Those of you who are targeted, I, I am so sorry. I am just so sorry. Um, because I know the, the nightmare that my life became. I cannot imagine having to deal with extreme pain, or, um, you know, I've heard from women who feel like they've been raped when no one is in their bed or apartment with them. Uh, I, I can't, I try to imagine what that would be. And I, it would be a magnification of the nightmare I already live. And then you try to talk to people. And they just look at you like you're crazy. It's, life should not be like this. It should not be like this. But unfortunately, 